Hi, how y'all doing? So, this is the culmination of actually a few days of hiking and herping and all that. So, might have different clothes on, might look a little different out. It's because it was, you know. Um, most of the videos that Alyssa and I are going to be making are not going to be like this, or I don't know, maybe they will. Really don't know what the channel's going to do. But for right now, it's mostly going to be herping and we do a lot of hiking, so, you know, exploring different places like that. So, uh, we're in Central Florida, so if you guys have anywhere in Central Florida you'd like us to check out or cool places you've been that, you know, either you've herped or whatever, um, give us a shout, let us know, and we'll try to go to them. Um, we really appreciate it, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see where this channel goes. Hopefully it, uh, you know, eventually it's going to get into, uh, we're going to start breeding reptiles and everything. So we'll, uh, we'll see as the, you know, year progresses, which way it'll go. But, uh, in the meantime, this is kind of just like a, you know, thanks for watching already. And, uh, I hope you like it and, uh, we'll see where everything goes. So, uh, yeah, I hope to get to know some of you and, uh, yeah. We'll see what this goes. Huh? All right, enjoy the video. I don't know what kind of grasshopper that is, but that's pretty cool. Looks like a little stick. I see. Oh, oh, oh! oh. There he goes. See you, bud. So we're walking down this path. And look on this tree. Oh, it just came out of its cocoon as well. It's still letting its wings. Dry up Come across this moth. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's super pretty. I don't know what type of moth that is. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to disturb it. But look at that thing. Camera's not picking up on how green it is. Yeah. It's super bright. Beautiful. You know, look to see what kind of moth this is. Wow. Yeah, I was just walking and it was like, that is a weird looking leaf on that tree. It blends right in. That's awesome. So, looked it up real quick and it's a Luna moth. You can see the uh, eye pattern right there. And then you can see right on the underside you can see the little things that come down whatever yeah i mean it's shoot those wings are coming out quick but yeah i've never seen a luna moth before so i had no idea what it was that's pretty cool i don't know what kind of frog that is maybe a little i don't know what that is a little baby frog that we found there were some bullfrog tadpoles on the other side. He didn't see me, but there's a big old water snake. Big old guy cold up right there. Well, first real awesome herp of the day. That's 100% a banded water snake. That ain't a cotton mouth. See if I can catch it? Yeah, grab him. You gonna bite? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, you're 100 percent sure. 100 percent sure. That's a banded water snake. Okay. Let me try to come around this thing. Yeah, it would have been easier just to come right here. Well. No, oh, I just wanted to prove to you that it wasn't. I didn't want to make you nervous. <laughs> but that was not a cottonmouth. Well. At least we saw one. We saw one. Oh, well.
the flowers that I took. Mm -hmm. Like that angle. So, we're walking along this path, and here in Florida, we have a lot of invasive species. I'm sure that you've heard a lot of them, you know, the pythons and all that. Those guys are down south a bit. Up here, one thing that people don't realize is that we have the brown anoles, which are also called Cuban anoles, and they, as their name suggested from Cuban, they came over here to the pet trade. But we do have native anoles here, and one of the native ones is Right now, he's not, he's kind of turning green right now, but this is called a green anole. And this is a little male, but right now he's brown. They can go brown to green. Um, you can kind of see on his tail and on his back here, he's kind of lightening up. But there's a few differences. The head's a little different, like it's more pointed. Brown anoles are wider. They have a smaller body. And the thing about these guys is they're super docile compared to the brown anoles, but they are not as aggressive as he just said. You know, they, they the brown anoles just beat them up. They eat the babies. They kick them out. So, like where I grew up over in Pinellas, you know, the Tampa area, we basically don't have them there because the brown anoles just kicked them out. And the further north, the, the further north you go here in Florida. The more you're gonna find them. So we've seen a couple of them today, not many of them, mostly brown and alls, but he's just a cute little old guy, he's just chilling. They got a tail longer than their body too. That's another thing that the brown and alls don't have. And they also have better toe pads, better for like climbing. Um but they're just really cute little docile lizards, and I'm, I wish he would turn green, but he was sitting down on this path trying to sun himself because it's kind of overcast today and it's kind of cool. So that's what he was doing. We saw him running on the path, but I'm gonna go let him go. But yeah, look at him. Oh, and they also got the little white marks on the side. You know, they're just adorable little lizards. But I mean, if you didn't know the difference, these guys are more gray than brown. And the brown anoles will be, they go from black to, you know, oh, look at him, big chilling. Hey, buddy. Look at the little white spots all over him. He's pretty. But they got a pink dewlap as well, where the green or where the brown anoles will have more of a red one. But, hey bud. Yeah, I'm not gonna do nothing. There you go. Oh, look at you. Look at him. He's pretty cool. There you go. I like these guys. I had them as a pet growing up. Let's see. Oh, I don't know where he went. But anyway, no. I I take it for granted. I think when it comes to the anoles, because you mostly see the brown anoles out here. And I don't think I'm like, ah, oh, it's just a freaking brown anole. They're everywhere. But uh, I mean, I forget the people up north don't have them. So. So, I'm not going to mess with this guy. He's big chilling. But look at how he... There's a green anole that's green. Look at that, bud. He's just chilling right there. Wow. And he's got the blues around his eyes, too. And that's a pretty one. Just chilling on the sign here. That's so cool to see. Well, good luck. Good job pointing that one out. I didn't see him. You want to try to get him? Yeah, I might miss. Go ahead. Let me get him. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to break his toe. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's fine. Where'd he go? He went right there. He should be sore right there. No. I don't see him. Huh. I just didn't want to break his toe. Yeah. It's like one of those ones you don't know. Oh, well, well, hey, we got to see a green one. That's cool.
harvester ants right here. The same type of ants you get in your uh, ant farm. It's kind of cold right now, so they're not really doing too much. They're acting kind of sluggish, but then come back in a couple months when it's warm, and this whole thing will be a big old mound covered in them. Oh, they're delicious. Absolutely delicious, aren't they? try to find that's the thing we're just trying to find whatever I mean our main focus is herps but we'll uh I mean we're just like we just like being outside so um if you're in central Florida and have anywhere that you think we should try um we're in the Ocala area so if there's anywhere near us that you think we should try let us know in the comment section and we will try our best to go to them because we just we like hiking so we'll go out and try you know a little bit of everything so uh yeah like share subscribe all that fun stuff um we're gonna try to come out with some videos um as consistently as possible you know we're busy we work but uh this is a new channel that we're gonna try to uh upload to a decent amount so you got anything we'll probably hike here for a good bit just to get the area to know the area that's about it well, thank you for watching, and uh, if there's uh, anything else you want to see, just let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye. One thing that I haven't really looked at. Oh, is he fucking gone? <laughs> that piece of shit. I, okay. I don't see anything on this side, though. I mean, trying to see if it's heavy or hard to walk over. Is that what you're trying to do? I'm trying to make a path. Oh, God. But, that's a cool little area. I mean, there's not much water out here. What do you do? Go and smash that like button. Smash that like button. <laughs>